Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new episode of Mikey Reacts where we check out some of the best content on the internet. So today we're gonna be watching a video from a channel called Jubilee and they do a lot of like social experiments on YouTube and this one specifically is called Six Straight Men versus One Secret Gay Man. Shh, it's a secret. Also, before we begin, I get comments all the time about my gamer chair. I do game once in a while, so it's applicable. Also, when I'm sitting at my desk and I just want to be scrolling on my phone, I mean, come on. We brought together seven straight men. I am a straight man. I'm straight. I am a straight man. I'm straight. I am a straight man. I'm straight. I am a straight man. One. Are they is a really liar. straight? If the group Only discovers one? who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, he or she wins the entire prize. Odd man out. Raise right. your hand if, you have, if you've had a girlfriend. Are you sexually attracted to men? No, but uh, I can appreciate a good man. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I don't really trust the guys that are being super dominant and trying to dominate the discussion early on. Kind of feels like they want to set the narrative. Do you guys believe that? Right off the bat, Jonathan uh, kind of went after me because uh, I had a wedding ring. Well, guys, who here has kissed a dude or been kissed by a dude? I've been kissed by a dude. Uh, I've kissed a dude? Yes, I've been yeah. kissed by a dude. Who here has Wait, kissed what? a dude? I love how they all make sure to say dude. Something wrong with yeah, yeah. kissing the dude. Protect their masculinity at all costs. One of my best friends. <laughs> it was an accident. It was? <laughs> yeah, it, it was really funny. My girlfriend was there, she saw it. Glad we got a lot of accomplished. Here. Good, good, I'm glad your girlfriend was there. That's so solid. Now. As long as she saw it, you well, get a what, pass. Like, okay, so, ah, damn it. Who, who knows who won the Super Bowl? Was that, does that matter? When oh, that's a good question. He's the only one that asked the right question. Who won the last Super Bowl? No idea. Oh, I didn't well, think really he going was for Corbin. Much, but when it came down to it, I was like, I gotta play for strategy, I gotta win. Alright, there's a lot for Corbin. Only person you have is this because he's crossed his legs in the cameos? <laughs> That's what happens That's, in all of these episodes. This is, seems a little stereotypical. The only stereotypical. person to ask a question to is the one that gets voted out. Has anyone here been mistaken for a gay person? Yes. And Always. why do you all think? <laughs> for me, it's my voice. And they're yeah, like, right. you're gay. And I'm like... I, mean, uh, yeah, I think that's the first time he spoke this whole time and he probably knew like, ah, oh, my voice is a little bit high pitched. I'm gonna like stay back. I feel like for this to be effective, we have to put everyone kind of in the spot and like, and then everyone else just analyzes them. Ask me questions. Wait, wait, look at my eyes real quick. Are you gay? No. Look at my eyes real quick. Are you gay? No. Okay, this, this is that was hard. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> this is so hard. I think this is the point it, of the show. I know. It can't, because it can't, can't just tell. be because it yeah. can't just be like oh everyone gangs up on one person because like then the gay person has a chance to like hide in the shadows or like hide in the noise. You know. Questions. I mean, okay. I should I, you want, I'll go for. I'll no, go no, for you can't. Just no, you right can't here, turn. Here. All right, just go ahead. Everyone go with your strategy. eyes, with your eyes, just look at Jonathan. Okay. This is a really flawed strategy. If they're gay, they're gonna act different. A very like, you know, 1960s like mindset in that, which is funny. And I was like, I don't think we're gonna get it. I mean, else. Jared could get it at like the daddy bar. So that also could be a thing. How, how did you feel about them? Uh, <laughs> I wasn't sexually attracted to any of them. But like, here's the thing. Sometimes, Interesting. sometimes, sometimes you see a bunch because they're locked. This guy with the backwards okay, hat, his strategy is just <laughs> awful. Like, I I and I almost think he's the gay guy because his strategy during this is awful. It doesn't work. Okay, he's, He's gotta be the mole. Wesley, do you have a girlfriend right now? I do not. How do you meet and date now? Mm. I'm kind of like just committing to like season of singleness, you know? Okay, nice, you know good, job, I mean? good job, good job. I feel like the straight guy would have said, you know, I, I check out Tinder, I do this app, but he like, like didn't have an answer for that. So I don't, I don't trust him. He's been sort of the dominant hopping on it, trying to like solidify his position as like the straight guy this entire time. So I don't trust him. When was your first girlfriend? My first one was probably like in college. I should probably back up. I'm. I'm like Muslim. So my thing is like, it's just, dating is just usually very there's, unconventional. There's lots it's of like gay Muslims. Like limited. Yeah. So, I mean. Is that a thing in Muslim culture to be um, gay? And... I feel like as far as like religion goes, I, I mean, usually isn't it a thing where it's like, yeah. gay are people you, aren't really. Are you pretty devout? I would say, yeah. Okay. Like I grew up like going to the mosque and everything. How does this, it's how very, does this affect like, your sexuality? How's your relationship with your dad? It's fine. Play baseball. Oh, good question. Really well, because I guess it's just we're just changing like social norms. Yeah. Okay. Father, so I don't know. I'm trying to be challenging here. Okay. I'm not actually a jerk, guys. Last person. 
Open book. Come on. Uh, Give it to me, Jonathan. Do you shave your butt? What? Do you wax your butt? No, I don't. I don't. You don't. Have you ever had a threesome? I have not. I like. I don't. I don't understand it. Like, I gotta oh, focus on question. one person. And who, who? Usually, who's that one person? A man or a female? A girl. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm really. I don't know. Like, we're trying to like trick thing? somebody out. I don't know. Is how it's gonna go. Have you kissed a dude? He said he did. I I have. What was okay. what was the situation? Don't you want to say no? I don't want to say no. I'm gonna be honest. I've kissed a guy because I was like I could be bi, and then turns out I wasn't. What so. would that make you huh? the mole? All right, a lot of people going for Jason now. Jason and Evan and Wesley. Okay, so there's a good mix. A bit of confusion going on. Ooh. I think, based on just like the whole interaction, whatever, I think that I, I know calling out is so like bad, and I apologize, but it's a game, it's a game. You just say it. I think you're gay, right? Ooh. And so this is what I think. There's, there's a lot of dominating the conversation, the body yes. language, and yes. trying to control everything. I thought he was acting maybe too macho? Okay, maybe he is overplaying the straight role. I'm going to look at Wesley, look at the tattoo on his right arm. Right. Those are three stakes. Okay. What does that represent? The crucifixion. All right. I don't necessarily believe he's gay. We've just been through this. I, I know, gay Muslim, gay, gay Christian, it, 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 it's hunch. a thing, it's a thing. It's more likely that he is not than he is. Right. You know what really sucks about this, guys, is we became friends and now I feel like we're not. We're not. So like after yeah, this is over, right. can we still get beers? Yes, yeah. I wanna get all right, beers. All right, all right. I hate straight men. I hate them all. How many times has your gaydar been right in real life? I don't believe in that kind of a thing. Ah, oh, so there that's so hard. There are general tells, but Jesus not everyone Christ. has a tell. My brother, he's, he's gay. And I didn't know till he came out, and I was like, "Whoa, what the?" I was like shocked. Yeah, okay. And so, yeah, the like gay stereotypes doesn't really match up. But did it ever like cross your mind or anything? Like, did you ever even think about it? No, I didn't. Because a lot, because a lot of the times, like, what you're not paying attention to. Right. It's like it's easy to miss. You know what I mean? Right. I just I thought, dude. Yeah, I guess. And so and so disqualifying yourself as like shit. I guess having like a, a does not having a gay art, but like not believing it. Mm. I feel like that still isn't like an accurate statement to make. I think we spent the first four minutes just discussing how we were gonna approach finding out who's gay. And I'm like, dude, we need to do the dang thing. What's the gayest thing about you all? Dude, honestly, <laughs> growing up, me and my friends literally just like poked our fingers up each other's butts. What like, the <laughs> what? So you're telling me they eliminated Jason because he admitted that he had kissed another guy, but they, <laughs> but he took the opportunity now to admit that when he was a kid, they would play with each other's butts. I have questions. I have questions about the rubric. Dude, it's like, so did you gay. like take two fingers off or something? No, no, let me explain. Let me, it's so gay <laughs> that it's you? straight. It's so gay <laughs> that it's straight. I'm Korean <laughs> and there's this thing called thong chim where it's like horseplay or whatever to like come up behind one of your friends and like stick your like finger up their butt like this and then yell like thong chim. Bro, why'd you move over there? I'm just, I'm just trying to They're stay called chim right? And so Dude, like I'm basically- not I'm not hating. I thought it was funny, but I was with him in it. Like, okay, I hear you. I don't think you're it. What's the gayest thing that you... I don't know, I went to school for theater. There you go. <laughs> Dude, that's pretty that's... Is that it? <laughs> Not gay. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> Theater's pretty gay. That. I love As someone who's been in theater class many like, times. Like so at this point right now, I'm kind of thinking that it's the guy with the black shirt and the wispy hair for a couple reasons. One, he's been pretty quiet this entire time, and I think he maybe is worried he would say the wrong thing. He also made a comment to the other guys a little while back about gaydar, and I just don't know if a straight guy would have thought to ask other potentially straight guys what their gaydar has been in their life, because only a gay person would really think that that kind of thing maybe exists via their own life experiences. The gay thing about me, honestly, would probably be like my just like taste in music, you know, I'm like a Beyonce fan. I've been listening to like Britney Spears since like day one. Like that's the kind of stuff, like I'm just, I'm just really into like pop music and uh, that's that's my thing, I guess. Is it, like, wait, is it cool if I do ask you just yeah, no, about go like ahead. homosexuality on like the, like the Muslim community? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I feel like a lot of religious organizations kind of take that conservative approach where they're like, okay, you know, just uh, everybody's allowed in the religion, but you know, you can't really. So if you were, would you be comfortable like coming out? Would I be? Yeah. Probably not. Just, I'm being honest for myself and just because I know how Muslims are, like, I probably wouldn't. Even when he was asked the question, he didn't really talk much. He gave like a really quick answer and was like, on to the next person. There's been a tie. Oh, Interesting. <gasps> and Evan. I don't like this game anymore. Can I go home? <laughs>
I'm thinking, I, honestly, I actually really do think it's Evan. I'm pretty, con I'm pretty convinced that it's Evan. Sorry, dude. Sorry, brother. I thought Wes was definitely the, the gay guy. That's what I thought. I wanted to split the money with Evan, but if everyone else is being greedy, or so I thought, then I guess I got to be greedy with everybody else. I, I, I kind of treated this round like a safety round, where I feel like I feel like we got rid of the mole, but I feel like just so here's you can the thing. Like vote one person out. I don't think we did. Again, I'm putting yeah. myself out there again, like probably like yeah, a chopping no, block. That's fine. I still think that Wes is the mole. This is what I think. Now. We can take the money and we can split it. Three I love ways. that he's committed to playing the game. I feel like you're game. a very incredible person. Uh -huh. And like, honestly, cool. I believe you, but like, to be safe. That, yeah, okay, that, that, that works. I, this That's is fine. where I'm thinking. All right. Because and, and saying then, I'm Muslim is yeah. like the ultimate trump card of saying like. Yeah, and, no, and, I, I get that. I totally get that. So in, in this game, anyone could be a liar. And I was like, that is such a strong play to use. It's either absolute truth or it's absolutely a lie. Because he threw out the Muslim card. I don't want to be controversial. So therefore. Bro. I don't want to be controversial, bro. Dude, you're, <laughs> you're playing this game by Jubilee. This is a pretty stereotypical slash controversial game. You dirty did this. Where was I born? That's what I was saying. Okay. Um, is this the immigration episode? No, I was born in Pakistan. I, after I uh, called that out, I was like, dang, maybe this wasn't like the best like tactic. He was super mature and super like understanding and like understood the context of the game. This sucks, dude. Bro, are, are you we guys can, gay? No, but we can, no, we can like, no, Jonathan, Jonathan, okay. Jonathan yeah, are I'm you not. gay? No, I'm not. Okay. <sighs> I feel like at this point, they're gonna vote Wesley out or Nabil. I feel like they'll be between them. John, oh. I'm just so disheartened right now. Ah. There you go, that was, that's, that's, that was a strategy, right? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. To be honest, I, I was surprised I made it as far as I did in the game. I feel like I played that hand really strong, and I was just like, you know what? I'm a Muslim, it can't be me. If the but lights around lost. you turn red, god. the mole is still in the square. Oh my god. The lights around you turn green. You have voted. I don't know what's going to happen. No, we won. We won? You think? No. If you're not gay, we won. <gasps> oh my gosh. I told you. Wow. Oh yes. my gosh. Oh, oh, so wait, it's wait, wait, what? So it was just a bunch wait, of straight men bickering at each other. I'm so <laughs> yeah. confused. Yeah, yeah who was the mole? Oh, oh, oh shit. Dude. I was right. Dude. I knew it. I knew I it. I knew it. I knew it. I thought it, it was Wes the entire time. I'm happy that I made it. Yes, as as I, I love it. that I there knew it. There are some that got it right away, and there are some like Wes had no idea. I so enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Mikey Reacts. Before you go, make sure you're following on Instagram at Mike Reetsy, and turn on your post notifications, you know, every single time I upload a video. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to comment, rate, subscribe, and most importantly, smile. Bye, guys.